This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane and I'm super excited about today's review because it's Alternator's Sunstreaker. And he's sealed in box, you know, nothing shaken, complete sealed for a very, very good price. On eBay, with shipping, uh, or maybe just without shipping, <laughs> I can probably find this guy around 190 bucks. Um, that's probably wood shipping. So it's extremely expensive. To find this guy under 100, under 70 was amazing. I mean, wow. So this is my first uh, alternators uh, and I just really wanted to have him to put him on my Lambro shelf. Although he's not a Lambro. He's not a Lamborghini, he's a Dodge Viper. But I can't wait to unbox this, review it, and uh, play with it. But before I do so, make sure you check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformer. And now let's roll the intro. Okay, and now for something I rarely do, a unboxing. Uh, might work, might not, I don't know. Uh, so I'm guessing there's a lot of cardboard here. All right, so. Huh. I guess the best way is just to rip that plastic part. It's gonna damage the whole box. Or not, that's minimal. Kind of cool. All right, so you still have you know the nice artwork here. Uh, it says, well, the camera's not. Yeah, get that. So you still have the Dodge Viper alternator robots in disguise. I wonder if that was part of the uh, R.I.D. line, like the old 2001 show. I don't know. Uh, underneath you have the figure. And you think I look good now? Wait till you see me my driving. There you go. I think that's cool for alternators. Like I didn't know that they have opening doors and hood and stuff. So my spoiler, weird gun. But I'm discovering this and uh, so far I like it. So this goes here. Here, so Chris, yeah, good boxes. And there we are. Um, sorry, any MISB collector, I'm probably giving you a heart attack right now. So you remove this, and then I have the car. But it's oh man, it's it's a good weight. Oh, I like that. Then you have this part here. I don't want to rip anything, so I'm just gonna cut it. On camera, never a good idea to do these things. There you go. I'll take that away. And I'm liking this alt mode. I mean, it's not a Lamborghini, but look how nice this cleans up. Barely any gaps, nice details. Let's take a look at that. So you have the racing stripe. All black. You have a, I guess that's the Dodge logo that's been cut in half and then not painted properly after that. Um, so the whole racing stripe all the way to the back. You have the gas tank here. Nice detail to have that there. You have the Viper logo ST, SRT10. Okay, that's model number. Um, I'm not a car guy, so I don't know what that is, but it looks good. Maybe it, that's the exhaust on the side? Maybe. It kind of looks like that. Rolls well. 
rolls really well. Uh, rubber tires. Oh man, I haven't seen rubber tires since, well actually now since Beachcomber from Legacy Line. Uh, see here, this should pick here. There you go. All right, that was unpegged. Clear window. And then, okay, stuff that I really like about this. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's test these articulation. Oof. So the door opens. You have a, a steering wheel. Soft rubber. Dashboard. Uh vents a stick shift a handbrake wow and seats seats I, I always say we need more seats in toys and transformers this is amazing uh you have nice mirrors with the chrome decals in it it's really good the sunstreaker license plate the headlight well the tail light sorry dodge viper looks really good and then in front you have the headlight and the little fog light looks really good nice grill so this says it opens up so you have to be careful but it does and uh, that's a uh, motor the motor is loose I don't know if it's broken or if it's oh that's the gun I see it well, let's pull it out. So that's his gun. And it's a motor. Alright, not too sure what I how I feel about that. I mean, compared to, you know, the... Uh, usually we have the similar thing. Not a motor, but uh, the air intake on the uh, Lamborghini. Uh, let's say with Earthrise, it, it transformed into a gun. So, I don't know, but this... Pegs... Oh, sorry. This is my first alternator review and it's not going too well. Come on. It's stuck in there. There you go. So when you transform it, it has to go perfectly here. There you go. Looks good. All the details. I mean, the chrome is a nice touch for sure. Looks good. I am impressed with this alt mode. Not a Viper guy, but this looks real good. Cleans up really nice. And even the wheels are, you know, on a little uh, system that make it turn. Uh, but when I do that, the uh, steering wheel doesn't move, which would have been extremely impressive. But, uh, the, you know, the underneath cleans up really well. Oh, this one unclipped, uh, so maybe that's a little QC there, that, uh, is, but man, both doors and this, oh, okay. I think I can, th nah, this is one piece, so I don't know, I'll look at the instruction. All right, I took a look at the instruction, it doesn't show you everything, um, you know, that's, you have that at the, on the, underneath the box where they, they show you to open this. They say that this part is removable. You can remove this for a convertible. Um, so I might try to give that a shot. And then you have the instruction for the transformation, which I will uh, look at for the first time in my life. So, all right. Let's, uh, wow. How do you remove that though? Ah, it's connected here. I see, okay. All right, so yeah, maybe we won't do that right now. Uh, I like the look of this car. I'm trying to, realign this there you go all right um i'm not gonna transform it on camera i might do a short about it though so uh, look out for that all right i'll be right back with the robot mode okay big noise let's see how tough you are all right i really wanted to do a short transformation video but, but it took me seven minutes so forget it uh, so don't look for it. It's not gonna happen. You really buy this uh, figure for the alt mode I'm kind of impressed and disappointed at the same time, but it's it's overall. It's a good toy I have to say it's kind of more masterpiece scale and It's really it's it is impressive in its own right. Honestly, I'm not disappointed with this uh, purchase at all the gun motor looks goofy That's for sure. 
But there is some really nice perks about this uh, robot. But the transformation took me seven minutes, so I'm not going to do a shorts with it. Uh, but yeah, uh, but you do have some... Uh, he's, there's a good weight to the figure, so that's a plus. Uh, he's kind of back heavy, so you have to be careful when you want to stand him. If it's too much forward, he falls down. Too much backward, he falls down. So you have to be careful with that. But the head sculpt's kind of nice. Uh, the chest area looks a little goofy. I mean, this should be placed another way but i understand like it's a very complex transformation compared to mainline stuff because i thought this was more of a mainline representation but this is really more like master masterpiece scale just take a look with uh this comparison he's bigger than the masterpiece sunstreaker so you know yeah i mean he's not as complex well, let's just leave him in the background because he's really nice to look at. But uh, he's not as complex as for the transformation, but still fairly um, more steps than what you would see in uh, the uh, mainline. Better articulation uh, to some extent. So yeah, you do have your, uh, well, let's remove the gun. You do have your Ferris wheel here. The arms will go all the way out. You have a rotation. It's kind of hard to do with the kibble of the wind, the door, but you do have a rotation here under the shoulder. You do have your 90 degree bend. You have a full rotation at the hand. And what's really cool is that you have a, uh, you know, independent index. Uh, and then you have the three other fingers all together. So that's, I haven't seen this since, well, either Masterpiece or the uh, Earthrise uh, Optimus Prime. Uh, so this is a, a gold oldies, you know, it's very well articulated for, for the hand, the arms, you know, the head goes on the ball joint. Uh, you do have, well, to an extent, you do have a, it's kind of hard to do now with the, uh, the window down like that, but you, could get a rotation because for transformation you do have to rotate this section you you have a van dam well if you can move everything out of the way i guess you could get a johnny cage looks goofy though like extremely goofy uh you have a rotation underneath the tie at the leg you have a very limited, that's as much as he's gonna bend at the knee. So that's, yeah, I don't wanna force it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, you have a very mobile foot. So you have the ankle tilt, you have the toe back and forth a little bit. So yeah, I mean, overall, He's not the most cartoon accurate representation of Sun Streaker, that's for sure. Uh, the gun doesn't hold really well either. Uh, I mean, you fold the hand around. It's, oh, well, actually, I got it better this time than every other time I tried. So, so there you go. That's Sun Streaker. I'm trying to make him stand. And it's kind of hard because I want the feet to touch the ground. I don't necessarily want the. Uh, the grill, because the grill formed the heel, and ah, there we go. So you have a huge kibble. You could fold this inside here, but I don't know if it's actually making much of a difference. Uh, yeah, it does. It, it it looks better on camera this way. I wish we could remove them, uh, put it somewhere else. Well, technically you can. You can remove this whole piece. Uh, to uh, give him a uh, convertible look uh, but I won't do that so yeah he's not a bad toy he looks better in alt mode that's for sure just to see how different this is let's put him with G1 Sunstreaker and looking at this I mean this is a far better engineering than this but I still prefer to look at this but ultimately the masterpiece Sunstreaker is probably the best one I've ever seen uh, so yeah, so all I'm missing right now for my Sunstreaker collection is an actual Legend scale, uh, which I'm waiting for the one from Mech Fans Toys, who was supposed to be released the first quarter of this year. 
So now we're, uh, you know, starting the third quarter and uh, no sign of it. So I'm eagerly waiting for that one. So I think that's going to be it for now. Next door review is going to be Sideswipe from the same line. So I'm um, eager to see how he goes from the same vehicle mode to the different uh, robot mode. So that's cool. Uh, but yeah, overall, uh, if you're a Sunstreaker fan, this is a must. Uh, if you're not a Sunstreaker fan, um, you might have a hard time liking it, I have to say. But it's worth it for me. Absolutely needed this uh, in my collection. And he's rare, so if you find him at a decent price, jump on it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.